Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how to use the revolve command to design parts that are symmetrical around an axis. For example, a tube, a chess pawn, a knob, or an axle. To use the revolve feature, we must first draw a circle. Let's set the diameter to 1 inch and the z-value to 3 inches. Looking at the 3D view, we have a 3-inch rod. Now let's go to the front view. Notice that this side view of the rod is a rectangle, as we expected. Notice also the center axis. To the right of this axis, we can draw almost any shape and set the line type to revolve. For example, let's start with a rectangle that does not touch the center axis like this. We'll set Z to revolve. Now let's look at the 3D view. Notice how the rectangle rotated around the axis creates a tube with a hole through the center. Now let's add some more features to the revolve line to show this feature's capability. For example, we can add a groove by drawing a small rectangle adjacent to the right edge below the top right corner, like this. We'll use the eraser tool to erase the right edge of the groove. Let's look at the 3D view again. Notice the groove. Close the 3D view. Let's draw a circle with its center at the midpoint of the right edge of the rectangle. And use the eraser again to delete these two lines. Looking at the 3D view, we see a rounded groove. After closing the 3D view, we can add a taper by drawing a straight line and using the eraser again. Looking at the 3D view, we see the grooves and the taper. We can add more and more features to the revolve shape to get any shape we want, from a tapered tube to a chess pawn. Try the revolve feature yourself to get to know this key feature. Thanks for watching, and be sure to see our other videos for more useful tips. Bye for now.